And it's, it's it, you know, it's really strange when you think about these types of experiences and what they can do for us. Because as we've seen with a lot of the science, you know, like the wonderful science at Johns Hopkins University and as well as uh, at MAPS, Multidisciplinary Association for Psychedelic Studies, these mystical and religious experiences seem to be very conducive for people's health and just for their mm -hmm. sense of well-being you know so like at Johns Hopkins University they gave um, near-death cancer patients psilocybin and 80 percent of them um, uh, had a uh, severe reduction in anxiety of death mm -hmm. and that to me is that's just that's insane you know I think that's something we have to wake up and right. smell the roses to well, uh, well, when you point out that data, like the thing is, is if you actually show somebody who's not familiar with psychedelic research or the experiences of a, uh, that you can have on a psychedelic, that's part of it too. But you show them research like that and you're like, okay, so these people, they know they're going to die within a few days, a few weeks or a few mm -hmm. months. We don't know. You know, it's one of those terminal cancer stages that you don't know when it's just going to happen to you. Right. Um, they give them these uh, psilocybin mushrooms and... They have these really profound experiences with them, uh -huh. and they come out of it thinking, "Yeah, dying's it's hard, but I'm now able to cope with it better, and I'm able to grapple with the implications of it more, and and I don't right. feel as afraid of it anymore." It's like, um, the it's just hard to really explain the experience to a person if you have had it as well, but it does bring about these this sense of, um, I mean, it it it's like. It diminishes the parts of you that are emphasizing the anxiety, the because mm -hmm. um, I think that there's parts of your brain that emphasize on those things more, and you have to sort of take something that's going to be able to reduce that and allow you to right. have a more connected brain. You can see it from a different perspective and allows you to process that information more. Yeah, and so that different perspective, I mean, what's literally happening, what we've seen is that psilocybin does produce neurogenesis around the hippocampus region and so this is the birth of new brain cells which is a pretty rare thing you know our brain there aren't many things that that do that but and psilocybin is one uh you know this is what paul stamets talks about and uh and in combination with lion's mane and other uh, that's another particular strain of fungus it's not psychedelic but it does also seem to have properties of neurogenesis and and so how I think that psilocybin is able to help people with um, uh, integrating uh, maybe PTSD experiences or some type of emotional mm -hmm. trauma is that it's like literally giving your brain new brains to be able to write your experiences over in a more healthy way and right. to integrate those experiences mm -hmm. over again. Mm -hmm.